Good morning, folks. I'm just here setting up my shot for what I'm about to do. I'm about to nip and what am I going to do? So I'm going to do stockinette knit stitches and I'm going to continue. I started already. I started last night and just showing you where I'm at. Here are the projects that I've worked on thus far and what I'm working on. This right here, that's a stockinette stitch that I'm working on currently. I'm using number five needles and this, I think they're both worsted weight. And this is the second project that I did, second swatch that I did, and it is, that was pearl stitching. And this was my, well, this is my, actually my third project that I did, pearl stitching. This is my second knit stitching, and this is my knit stitching, and this is bulky weight. And that's where I'm at. And as I continue, the next thing you will see is a sweater. Well, not really, not yet. Maybe a beanie. Or sock, but that's what I plan to do and that's my setup and that's my work and I will continue on the stockinet swatch and see you soon <laughs> Mr. Bavin Thank you, my dear. You're Let's talk about discipline. Last week's episode, I discussed 
how I went from a poverty mindset, a poverty reality, how I went from struggling to a wealth mindset, to a paradigm that was that became defined by abundance increase and overflow. How I went from earning thirty to fifty thousand dollars all the way to earning more than a million dollars. So let's talk about discipline. So every topic I discuss will be centered and built on the law of assumption, manifestation. So discipline, Neville said this about discipline. A disciplined imagination places the one so awakened head and shoulders above the average person, giving that individual the appearance of a beacon of light in a world of darkness. So Neville is saying the person that employs his or her imagination will shine forth so brightly that it will impact the sphere, the entire reality, the outward reality. It will impact the lives of others and everyone connected to that individual. You will be a beacon of light in a world of darkness. Discipline is important because discipline separates the creator from everyone else. So many people have desires, they have dreams, aspirations, but they're not disciplined in the sense of holding on and persisting in an idea until that idea materializes in the objective world. Using your imagination lovingly is the first start. The second part of that is to persist in that assumption. So whatever you hold about yourself to be true, whatever you believe in your reality, whatever you desire, It's not enough to simply imagine it. Imagination creates reality. Creation also involves persisting in the state of living in the end, living in that persistent state of seeing your dreams unfolding in your mind until it unfolds in your reality. So discipline separates the creator from the disruptor. Discipline is to be awakened to your ideal state of being, doing and having the good you desire and persisting in those assumptions until those assumptions harden into fact. So it doesn't matter what your life looks like right now. Believe that you are destined to live and enjoy a grand and complete existence. Right now, the current person that you are, you are greater than the greatest you know. Whatever you imagine yourself to be, multiply that times a million, multiply that times a hundred billion. You are greater than that number. You are greater than your highest essence, your highest aspirations. You are here on this planet. You are here in this plane to unfold and expand into the highest version of yourself, into your highest transcendent state, into your most perfect and completed I amness. Unless discipline is incorporated into your daily life, you'll experience more of the same. I experienced living in financial struggle for many years because I kept doing the same thing over and over and over while hoping that something in my life would change. Hope is a great tool to have in your arsenal, but hope is not enough if you're only hoping without seeing yourself as a complete and perfect individual who's living in the nowness of consciousness in the state of completion, in the state of your dream being completed. While manifestation does not focus on the how and the doing, what has to be done is to discipline your imagination. What does it mean to discipline your imagination? Disciplining your imagination is to feed your imagination only on the ideas that will propel your life to your desired outcomes. Just listen to how people describe themselves. Listen to how people recite their perceived shortcomings. When I was struggling, guess what I talked about? I talked about my struggles. Guess what I magnified? Whatever you rehearse will be magnified. Whatever you think and feel within, you will attract without. Whatever you affirm, you will awaken. The only thing I kept resurrecting were the same struggles Why? Because I persisted in rehashing, rehearsing those struggles on a daily basis. I kept talking about what I didn't have rather than talking about what I desired. So one way you can incorporate discipline into your life is to only speak about what you are, who you are, 
the successful, the happy person that you are, the fulfilled individual that you are. Speak only of creation. Speak only of increase, abundance, overflow, surplus, happiness, well-being, wealth, love, success, prosperity. Speak only of what you desire. That's what it means to discipline your mind. Too often, we allow negative thoughts to infiltrate our minds. And before you know it, we're harping, cogitating, thinking, meditating on the negativity rather than the positive aspects that we desire. To wrap this up, discipline is to focus only on the thoughts, words, beliefs, and feelings that will lead you into a perfect and complete state of being, doing, and having your infinite supply of good. When you think of discipline, discipline does not have to be a task. Discipline does not have to be something that makes you uncomfortable. Look at discipline as the seasoning you put in your food. It enhances the flavor. It brings the meal, it brings that dish to life. That's what discipline does for you. Discipline leads you to a wellspring of blissful and epic experiences. If you frame discipline from a positive reference point, from a positive frame of mind, discipline will become magical to you and will lead to magical results. So until next time, remember, whatever follows I am, you become.